As you can see, our supplementary fuel generator is compact, so it will fit easily inside the trunk of any car. The source of our fuel is ordinary, clean, soft water. Simply fill the tank as shown. Now, you're ready to go. When you start your engine, its alternator produces electricity, which is supplied to our oxy-hydrogen generator. Electricity is stored in the battery pack. It supplies power to the control unit. which enables electrolysis. This process separates water into a mixed oxygen-hydrogen gas. The oxy-hydrogen gas is then sent to your engine. Normally, gasoline enters the combustion chamber where it is ignited to produce power. However, gasoline does not burn efficiently, so unburned fuel and pollutants exit through the exhaust. But oxyhydrogen fuel burns at nearly 100% efficiency. So when it is mixed with your car's fuel, it reduces emissions and fuel consumption. Combustion efficiency is increased, horsepower is increased, and carbon deposits are cleaned away. This helps your car's engine to run cleaner. Benefits of using Epix oxyhydrogen fuel. Your gas consumption is reduced by 20% or more. CO2 emissions are also reduced by 20% or more. Water fuel and What you're looking at is a hydrogen generator that cracks water into a usable fuel supplement that'll fit on just about any internal combustion engine that captures the unspent fuel that would normally go out your exhaust pipe. And we keep that energy in the engine to utilize all, all the energy and clean up the, uh, the pollution and also gives you a tremendous increase in your fuel economy. Our unit is installed in this Mercedes, which was normally getting 15 to about 18 miles per gallon, and we have doubled the fuel economy of it with this system. We're running over 30 miles per gallon as an average. This system cracks water into hydrogen and oxygen via electrolysis process in the reactors. <clears throat> And once the, 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 that gas is created, it's taken in through the water tank and bubbles it up through the bottom to scrub off any steam. Then from there, it goes up to the intake on the uh, fuel injection. This is a reactor system that the water comes in, in, into the, these cylinders and because of the electronic package that goes along with it, cracks the water from oxygen, cracks the water into oxygen and hydrogen and we utilize it as a fuel supplement. We, build it, we will be installing it in this car. It will sit down in front of the radiator behind the grill to take advantage of the most uh, airflow. This is a 1970 Cadillac DeVille that's got a carburetor on it. It does not have a electronic fuel injection, which is the best way to use the hydrogen. The power source for the hydrogen generator comes directly off the battery to pull the, the amps that we need to create the hydrogen, but that power source is backed up by the alternator itself to keep the battery up. And that's where our source of power comes from to create the hydrogen that's needed to get the reaction we need inside the combustion chamber. This hydrogen generator creates the hydrogen to go into the engine as a fuel supplement with the uh, fossil fuel. And what our system does, it gets all the energy out of the fuel instead of sending it back to a catalytic converter to be reburnt again for the fuel that doesn't get used. With our system, all the fuel gets used in the engine, henceforth up in your, your fuel economy. 
we should get somewhere on this particular car at least 300% increase in fuel economy. It's that simple. But the results we're getting, we're seeing two 300% increase in fuel economy. We've got them installed on taxi cabs. Uh, I've had them installed on marine applications as far as big boats are concerned. Uh, a lot of farm equipment and it's created pluses in all those fields. Because what we're doing is saving the energy that would normally go out to the air as pollution and keeping that energy in the engine, in the in in energy cycle. It's just that simple. The first thing you have to do is find a good location to mount the hydrogen generator. Usually in front of the radiator or behind the front bumper is a good place in most vehicles. The radiator right on the Honda Civic is easily removed with four pull tabs to gain access to that area in front of the radiator. After the shroud is removed, there's two Allen keys that will loosen the front grill, but the front grill does not come off completely. It's attached to the bumper. After removing the screw, simply lift up on the hood latch cable, and that should give you plenty of room to mount your hydrogen cell. The engine bay in the Civic's a little tight, so we modified the factory mounting bracket for the battery and moved it forward about an inch, so we can make room for the reservoir and actually mounted it directly to the intake. Routing the hoses is relatively easy if you follow the instructions. One goes from the bottom of the reservoir to the bottom of the generator, comes out of the top of the generator, goes into the side of the reservoir, which acts as a bubbler, then out of the top of the reservoir, around into the dryer tank, and then into the Between intake. the battery and the cell, there's a circuit breaker and a relay to turn the cell on and off with the vehicle. We only want the cell running when the vehicle's on, so tapping into either an accessory wire in the fuse box or off the alternator on the Honda Civic, the black wire with the yellow stripe off the alternator is connected to ignition two. So ignition one turns on the radio, ignition two is when the vehicle's running. So we simply tapped into the wire off the alternator for ignition two, ran it up to the relay to turn it on so that the cell only turns on with the vehicle. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah.
este, instalado en una Mitsubishi Montero 2000, 2800 2005, motor 2800 y esto es este, turbo diesel intercooler ok este aquí tenemos entonces lo que es la celda podemos ver la atrás del agua las salidas aquí está la producción del, del, del gas este aquí arriba vemos entonces lo que es la producción de hidrógeno y oxígeno en estas dos mangueras la otra manguera es la de la entrada del agua aquí está la celda Okay. Este acá. Okay. Entonces este gas este, Básicamente lo que es, se envía a este tanque Este tanque tiene agua destilada Este esta agua destilada es descompuesta en sus átomos originales, en hidrógeno y oxígeno, por medio de la celda seca que estaba allá abajo. Y lo que obtenemos es hidrógeno y oxígeno gaseoso, el cual enviamos a este burbujeador. Aquí pasa, es un proceso de limpieza y enfriamiento. Y de acá está, se envía hacia la admisión, donde eventualmente se va a combinar con el diésel y va a forzar la combustión completa del diésel esta celda está trabajando, aquí tenemos la, este, los amperios son 15 amperios 15 amperios para este, para este motor y aquí tenemos la, la producción 